aka the principal painter and today I am going to start laying drills down on my craftably diamond painting. Uh, Mindy of Mindy's Diamond Moment, Brandy of Mystery of Diamonds and I are doing craftably craze 22. That's our hashtag on Instagram, craftably craze 22. Um, so what I thought I would do today is I'm going to give you some details about our event. Um, I will be sharing with you how I kit up. I'm basically kitted up, but I'm going to share with you how I'm kitting up. Not only do I have my Craftably Diamond Painting here ready to go, um, Craftably sells more than diamond paintings. For those of you that might not know, they sell diamond painting accessories like this beautiful travel uh, kit for your drills. Um, in this kit, it's a great hard case. I'm gonna put this in my suitcase. The retreat is coming up on Wednesday. I'm super excited about that. It zips up. It also has a pocket uh, on the top of it uh, that you can put accessories in. And this particular um, drill case does come with a lot of extras. It comes with a ton of purple wax. I actually have not used purple wax, so if anybody wants to comment and let me know if you've used purple wax and how it works, I'd greatly appreciate that. It comes with all of these squishies, all of these diamond painting pens with single and multi-placers. Uh, squishies make your diamond painting a little bit more comfortable, so that's awesome. It comes with a beautiful acrylic pen. It comes with a macaroon. I don't know if, do you say macaron, macaroon? You, anyhow, you untwist it and, um, or actually pop it open, and you can put your wax in here, uh, and the cover helps keep the wax from drying out, which is very nice. Okay, there's a method here. Um, it also comes with these. For those of you not familiar with these, uh, you peel the plastic off, and you can put your uh, diamond painting trays on it so they don't slip around. It comes with two of them. Baggies comes with, I love these straighteners, guys. Um, you know, to straighten out your drills, especially if you're doing squares. This particular kit is a round kit, but uh, if you're doing squares and you have to straighten them out, I love these straighteners. They're great. Baggies, a bag of baggies, which will come in handy, and I'll share that with you. You also get a baggie of multi-placers, all different kinds, and another straightener, so you do get a ton. It also comes with all of these stickers. Now, uh, these are, obviously you can see I've used them and I'll explain that in just a minute. It comes with these round stickers that, goes, that go right on top of your containers. These containers uh, look small, but they hold a good amount of drills, guys. Um, I just took these blank circles and I just numbered. There are, this is perfect because there are 60 colors in this diamond painting, 60 containers. Yay me. Uh, it also comes with pre-printed numbers. And I thought, gosh, why did they put so many stickers in here? Well, I have found a way to use those that I will explain in a moment. So yeah, you get a ton, a ton of stuff. So uh, super excited about that. So get on Craftably's website, uh, check out these uh, travel containers. Uh, they are awesome. All right, details on this event. Again, uh, our hashtag is craftablycraze22. Every week we will be doing whip and chats. Obviously, I am a couple of days late on mine, um, and I apologize for that, but just life has been happening. I've been running around like crazy, getting ready for the retreat and everything else. So um, again, this is my whip and chat week. Uh, in order to uh, qualify for prizes, there will be weekly prizes, and there will be a grand prize at the end. To enter for the grand prize, you have to post your uh, progress on Instagram with the hashtag craftablycraze22. Do not post more than one picture per week. So this week, actually, you're gonna post two this week. You're gonna post your start and you're gonna post a progress picture with the hashtag. Also, in the description of your picture, you're going to put start week one and progress week one. Don't waste your time posting 50 pictures. Uh, your entry will only count once, and please only do that one time, uh, two times this week, and then week two, you'll post one picture of your progress, and in the description you will write progress week two, then progress week three, and progress week four. Um, if you post more than one picture, again, it won't count, and it also, Brandy is working really, really hard 
on uh, making sure to log all of your entries on Instagram for the grand prize and it just makes more work on her. So only one picture per week and then two pictures for this week. So that's how you qualify for the grand prize. To qualify for the weekly prizes, and I wanna thank Craftably so much. Uh, Michael and Amy, the owners of Craftably, have donated um, packages um, or bundles, uh, prize bundles for each week in order to qualify for the weekly prizes. For example, this is my week. Next week on Wednesday will be Brandy's week, then the third week will be Mindy's week, and then we will have a live uh, the following week for the grand prize. All you have to do to qualify for our weekly prizes is comment. Um, we may ask you a question, we may just say comment, uh, we will use random uh, comment pickers and each week we will be drawing for prizes. So uh, there are a couple of ways to win prizes, so that'll be fun. Um, so before uh, I start laying drills down, you're gonna get to see me lay the first drills down on this painting. Um, I wanted to share with you how I kit up. Uh, this again is a particular storage system. Um, there are the big Tic Tac containers. There's Elizabeth Ward bead storage. Uh, this is how I kit up every single time. Uh, these vials, again, look small, but they hold a good amount of drills, guys. They really, really do. Now, back to the stickers that I talked to you about. I was wondering why there were several sets of stickers. Well, I obviously used the round blank stickers and numbered my containers. This is how I kit up. And when I tell you about my method of kitting up, please know if you don't like it, there's more than one way to kit up. Do what makes you comfortable. Diamond painting is supposed to be fun. It is supposed to be stress-free. So if this system does not work for you, that is perfectly fine. Do it the way you want it. I just was thinking I might help some people um, with their kitting up systems uh, that may not, um, you may not have a system or your system may not be working. Okay, so. First and foremost, these drills uh, for this kit came in chains. I cut them all apart. They are numbered. So for example, this uh, is 31. It does have the DMC code on the bag. So the 31 on this bag corresponds to 31 in my kit. So here is my vial for my drills. Now, I did purposely uh, save two bags. One is all gonna fit in there and one may not all fit in there. And I'll show you what I do. Uh, for uh, the drills that may not fit in the vial, okay? So when you're looking at these and when you cut these trains apart, some of your kits are gonna come pre, already pre-bagged up, meaning they will be in baggies like this, um, and you just label them. These are trains, so you're gonna have to kit these up unless you do all one color at the same time. Some people do that, some people don't. If you will notice on these bags, when you cut them apart, there is a border at the top, on one side, and uh, on the bottom. So, this side doesn't have a border. When you are cutting uh, these bags open, my advice to you is this. I cut a small diagonal slit, and notice where I'm cutting. I'm cutting on the side that does not have the border. If you cut on the side with the border, you can if you want, but it just makes it a little bit more cumbersome to get into your vials. Um, so I just cut a small diagonal slit, get my container out. Now, when you're kidding up, slow and steady wins the race. So I've got my small slit cut, obviously, again, on the side that does not have the plastic border, and you start to pour. Now, some people pour into a tray. I find that takes a little bit longer, so I don't do that, but if you want to, feel free to do it. So I'm pouring in, pouring in, pour in your, your vial. Okay, this may or may not all fit, I don't know. I think it's all gonna fit. And eh, nope, I'm gonna have a little bit too many. So I have filled up my uh, container. So I put this back in my section on my travel uh, kit. I've got this many drills left, so again, I take baggies, you will get baggies in every toolkit you get um, of any diamond painting. So I just took these uh, baggies. I'm gonna pour the rest of 31 into this bag. And so then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna seal it up and then I'm gonna go to my stickers, my pre-printed stickers, find the number 31, 
slap it on the bag, and then I've got my extra drills. They're all numbered, so I know 31. When I'm running low on 31 in the vial, I can pour the rest in. Um, and as you can see, I've had several, um, I have several bags, but not many. Um, again, these vials hold a good number of drills. What I will do is I will take this, these bags, I will put them up top in my netting, and when I get ready to pour more drills into my vials as I'm running low, that's what I'm gonna do. Now, I learned this too because I was totally frustrated with trash everywhere because you're cutting you know, the corners off these bags, got empty bags everywhere. Save the bag that your drills came in. So the drills came in this bag. You can see it's got the, the thumbnail of windswept that I'm working on. I just take my empty bags and the corners that I cut off, put them in my drill bag, and then when I get ready to start diamond painting, I don't have a mess all over the place with bags everywhere that I'm having to clean up and stuff falling on the floor and everything else. I just take this, seal it up, and throw it in the trash. So uh, that is that. So again, I'm looking for 32. This, uh, this bag, this drill bag has 32 on it. I pick up my 32 vial, that's the last one. Find the corner, again, that does not have the plastic border on it. Cut a small slit. Open up the vial. I do love these travel vials. And again, slow and steady wins the race. Also, another tip I will tell you. I always kit up over a light pad because if you lose any drills or any spill on your canvas and you wanna make sure that you're holding these bags over your canvas, you don't want your drills falling all over the floor. Uh, if you lose any, they'll fall on your canvas and the light pad will pick up where they are and you can uh, pick, pick up any loose drills and get them back into your container. So again, just tap, tap, tap. Again, cutting on the side without the border makes it easier for the drills to go into your containers. And again, just tap, tap, tap. You don't want drills everywhere. And I'll show you, hang on just a second. Okay, so, okay, oops, two drills spilled out. You can see that if you do this over a light pad, and again, this canvas has plastic on it, so you're not gonna get anything on your canvas. I haven't even pulled the plastic back. But you can see the two drills that escaped easily. I can put them on my finger and get them in my container. So there you go, I am all kitted up and ready to go. Again, now, when I'm ready to throw this away, I can just take this whole thing, kind of reseal it up, and put it in the trash so I don't have my plastic bags all over everything. Okay, how are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. Like I said, I have been very busy uh, getting ready for this retreat. I'm super excited. All right, I'm gonna start peeling this back and see what we got here. All right, um, again, been running errands, getting stuff done for the retreat. I'm very, very excited uh, to have that uh, happen. It's happening Wednesday. I'm flying into Ohio on Wednesday, uh, and it's gonna be so fun. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so my first color, I'm gonna be doing 26, so I find 26. And I have my Bella Art Day Nicole trays. I'm gonna get these in here. Oh, I'll just dump them all in. Um, I leave my container out. Don't put it back because then you're gonna go, what color is it and how? <laughs> what, what color was I working on? So um, I always leave the container out that I'm working on. All right. So again, I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I am painting stuff for the retreat. Um, everybody on the committee has been working so hard and we're very, very excited uh, to get to go to Ohio. Uh, the retreat is going to be in Archibald, Ohio, uh, and it's gonna be so much fun. Um, I have had many questions regarding retreats. Mm -hmm. I will say, um, if you are wanting to go on a retreat, they are becoming more and more popular. Uh, I know of two Facebook groups on Facebook. One is called the Great Lakes Escape uh, Retreat. So go to that group. That is the retreat that uh, we are in charge of and um, Mindy of Mindy's Diamond Moment, uh, Ashley of Crafts with Crashly, and Jennifer Roberts of DP Addiction Adventures and Jennifer's mom um, are on the committee, the planning committee to get this retreat going and um, we are super excited. Ooh, looks like I need some more wax in my pen. Um, 
We are super excited. By the way, the wax that I'm using is patty wax. I always use patty wax. Um, use whatever wax you'd like. I just, I love patty wax. I always will. Um, regular patty wax in your multi-placer and super sticky patty wax in your single placer. And I'll probably be single placing today with 60 colors. There's going to be a lot of confetti. Um, but I have had questions like, can anyone go on a retreat or do you have to be a creator? Anyone is welcome at a retreat. Uh, we want to meet new people. There are many new faces to the diamond painting world. Um, you do not have to be a creator to go on the retreat. So the, the first group on Facebook you need to get in contact with is the Great Lakes Escape. And the second group is the Lone Star Retreat. Um, the reason why the groups are named that is because our very first retreats last year was the first Great Lakes Escape Retreat. It was in Michigan. And the Lone Star Retreat, the first retreat that, uh, and that group is uh, led by Marissa McCarty of the Crafty Heifer. Um, but get on those Facebook groups to find out information on retreats coming up, uh, how you sign up and everything else. You do not have to be a creator. Um, everyone is welcome. And I have met so many fantastic people on these retreats. I would highly recommend if you can, uh, get to one of those retreats. They're, they're super fun. It's a great way to network with people, find out, you know, new ideas and, um, and they are crafting retreats. You don't have to be necessarily a diamond painter. You can be doing cross stitch, adult coloring, crochet, knitting, miniatures. Um, a lot of people do a lot of different things on these retreats and everything is welcome and everything is perfectly fine. A lot of diamond painters do go because um, you know the organ organizers are from the diamond painting world, but um, you can do any craft that you would like. And it's just, again, a fun way. It's like a big slumber party. It's so much fun. We stay up late, we giggle, we laugh. Um, another nice thing about it is um, when you pay to go to these retreats, your food is taken care of, your room and board are taken care of. Um, I can't wait to see this facility in Archibald, Ohio. It looks absolutely fabulous. Um, there's a big crafting area. Everybody gets together in the crafting area. Uh, and then the rooms are, are off the crafting area. So um, it is fun. And um, there are activities. There are swag bags. All kinds of great stuff that um, you can, you know, door prizes that you can win. Um, there are also vendors that go. I know um, DP with Sparklers is going to be there. Uh, T-Mall is going to be there along with her husband, Jerry. Um... Bella Art Day Nicole is going to be there. Nicole and Jamie will be there. Um, who else? Craftably is going to be there. So that is going to be super fun uh, to see all of them and just, you know, just meet people, meet new people. Every retreat, I, I meet a ton of people and it's so much fun. I have a great time going to the retreats. So that's what I've been doing, just running errands. Um, I know I said in my live, sadly, um, I lost my college drill team director, so I had to go to that funeral, um, and that was extremely sad, but it was a beautiful service and a tribute to her and all that she has done for a lot of young ladies everywhere, and what was fun also, um, a fun part of that funeral was um, two of my former students, uh, and their mother is, well, was a teacher of mine, they're the captains for that drill team right now. And um, it was great to see them and get to hug them. And I took pictures with them. And um, it was just fun to see them carrying on. This, the name of the drill team was the Strutters. And so they are carrying on the Strutter tradition and um, you know, doing great, great things. One is the outgoing captain. And the other one is, you know, they're kind of like little stair steps. One is the incoming captain. And um, it was just fun to see them and get to hug them and talk to them a little bit. And uh, I got to share pictures with their mother, who was extremely pleased about that. Another exciting thing that's happening is my, bon I call him my bonus son. He's my stepson, Blake. Um, so I have my son, Blake, and I have my bonus son, Blake. Um, Blake is uh, a photographer. Well, he, he's in IT with, with a company, but um, he, his, he has a side hustle. Um, and that is photography and filmmaking. So we're going to go to a film festival tomorrow, which is featuring um, a film that he uh, directed and produced. And so we'll get to see that. 
um, independent film, and um, that'll be fun. I've, I've not been to a film festival, so that'll be super fun. Um, so that's what we're doing. Um, as far as um, my sons, um, my son Blake, I'm super excited because he, um, he has started really becoming interested in cooking. Um, my mother, uh, prior to when she passed away, she uh, made me a cookbook and it had pictures of my childhood. All the recipes are in her handwriting and um, I wanted to pass that on to Blake and so I photocopied all of the recipes and gave him the recipe book. He has been cooking all of those recipes and he'll call and he'll go, hey mom, What's cocoa powder? And I'll have to tell them what cocoa powder is and, you know, all that kind of thing. Okay, why isn't this? Here we go. Um, you know, and just asking questions, and um, it's been fun just getting to see him be excited about cooking. He made me a cheesecake the other day and brought it over for my birthday, which was so nice of him. And it was, you know, a special cheesecake that I love. Um, okay, seven. Um, my mother used to make it all the time for uh, my birthday, and so he made it. He came over one day and made um, jumbo shells and tomato sauce, ricotta cheese, and we just, we had a lovely dinner, and he's just really been enjoying cooking, which I, I just find really fun and interesting, and um, you know, we've reaped the benefits, obviously, because you know he'll come over and wanna cook and learn about all these recipes that uh, my mom used to make for me. And so it was a great, it's been a great tradition to pass on to him and uh, to see him cooking and, um, you know, we get to share time in the kitchen together, which is a lot, a lot of fun. I never thought he would want to do that, but he sure does. And um, he's a good little cook. Um, I have to be very careful though. He does get frustrated with me because I will try to helicopter him in the kitchen. Um, I got kicked out of the kitchen once. Mm -hmm. Yep, me get kicked out of the kitchen uh, because I was trying to tell him what to do and what not to do, and that's too much of that. And you know, he's get out, mom. I, I will finish. And the dinner was delicious, so I should not have. I shouldn't have been helicoptering him. I really shouldn't have. Um, but yeah, that's what's kind of been going on with me. Uh, just finished the best. Netflix series. Y'all, if you want a feel-good rom-com Netflix series, uh, the series, and it's been out quite a while, and so, but it's new to me. It may be new to some of you. Um, it's called New Girl, um, and it has Zoe Deschanel in it. Oh my gosh, it is so funny. Um, the characters in this thing are hysterical, um, and they, they have like these cameo appearances by these big stars. Prince is in it. Um, Taylor Swift is in it, um, and they just, um, you know, they make these cameo appearances, and um, it's it's fun to see that. I'm like, Prince is on here? No way, no way. Um, but, yeah, that was fun to watch. I just got done with that, and um, it's a great, great series. Uh, no violence, no, but it, it's, it's hysterical. It is really, really funny. Um, it's about a girl that moves into a loft with three other men, um, her best friend is a model, and you know, of course these men are all drooling over this model, and um, she is, of course it resonated with me, she's a school teacher, and she is just the biggest goofball. She is so funny. You know, it's kind of like she'll start dancing in the streets and, you know, make up songs, and she sings all the time, and wears funny, wears funny clothes, and she, um, Anyway, it's just, it's hysterical. And um, it's just fun to watch these friendships form and romance blossom. And, you know, by the end, everybody's getting married, having babies. And, um, you know, they all move out of this loft that they live in. And um, again, it was one of those shows. I was just sad to see it end because you feel like, I love Netflix series when you feel like at the end you've made friends and your friends are, your friends are leaving. But um, it was, Again, I, I loved the way it wrapped up. Uh, I'm not doing any spoiler alerts, but uh, it was great to see how it ended. And I just, oh, I leaned back and sighed when it was over. Uh, I was sad that it was over, but uh, was just so glad the way everything ended and 
you got to find out what happened to everybody and what they were doing and all of that kind of thing. So I hope that you will uh, join Mindy and Brandy and I for uh, Craftably Craze 22. Uh, if you have any questions regarding the retreat, please leave your questions in the comments below um, or get in touch with me. My email is uh, always in the description box below, so you can feel free to email me. It is theprincipalpainter at gmail.com. Pretty easy to remember. I am also on Instagram as the principal painter, so if you want to instant message me on Instagram, totally fine. Uh, I am Marlon and Kara on Facebook. You can send me a message through that. Uh, so if you have any questions regarding retreats or regarding this particular collab, again, weekly prizes, uh, you need to comment on these whipping chats. And so I will tell you, um, this week for me, and you have until next Wednesday to comment on this whipping chat. So question for me, leave it in the comments below. Um, what craftably are you working on? If you're working on a craftably, and if you're not working on a craftably, if you don't have time or have a lot of projects going, what are you working on? I'd, I'd be interested to know on uh, what projects you are working on, whether it be diamond painting, crochet, coloring, what have you. Um, anything is perfectly acceptable as a comment. Um, so leave that in the comments below. Uh, if you want to be qualified for my weekly prize, um, comment that and then next Wednesday I will pick a weekly winner so don't forget to comment below um, if you wouldn't mind if you liked and enjoyed this whip and chat and I whip and chats are normally not that long um, because I feel like I'm droning on and on um, but if you liked the video uh, liked what you heard uh, please consider hitting the like button and if you are new to the channel if you just happened upon this whip and chat and kidding up how to and you liked it and uh, would like to be a part of the Painter family, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Hitting the like button, commenting, and subscribing to my channel really helps my channel. Um, I do not have a Patreon. I do not, uh, you know, I, I don't uh, monetize in really any way except for ads. But um, if you like, subscribe and comment. It really, it's a very, it's a free way to help my channel. Also, if you're gonna subscribe, please hit that bell uh, to the right of the subscribe button and hit the all or however often you wanna hear from me. Um, and that will let you know anytime I upload a video. All right, guys, I'm gonna continue uh, diamond painting here. And um, I hope uh, for some of you that may be new or uh, may be frustrated with your kidding up system, uh, hopefully this was uh, helpful to you. And, um, you know, I'm going to try to be doing some more how-tos. Uh, I think people really like uh, the how-to videos. I know I enjoy watching them. Even as an experienced diamond painter, you can pick up tips from people that you hadn't really thought of. So, um, anyhow, all right, I will leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. Thanks for being here with me today, guys, and we will see you soon. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.